In this topic, as we are discussing about knowledge management in multinationals, we are going to talk about factors affecting knowledge, uh, factors affecting the significance of organizational knowledge. What is that? What is it that makes organizational knowledge so significant? Uh, so, in that, we will first of all look at how organizational knowledge has become an important factor. um and how is it uh, how is it evolved to become an important factor so we'll look at a short brief history of uh, how um, knowledge has become one of the important factors um in management um we t- we say that knowledge is one of the major sources of competitive advantage is it something which has which is which has always been like that or is it something which has now emerged and evolved uh, in today's times uh, it is something which has now evolved actually uh, earlier uh, let's say 50 60 years ago 100 years ago a uh, competitive advantage used to come from access to cheap natural resources or other factors of production so factors of production which are land labor capital and organization those factors of production they had more of an influence uh, particularly cheap natural resources and labor uh, cheap labor uh, they were one of the major factors in establishing the competitive advantage of a multinational so a multinational who was able to produce at the lowest cost and because mass production was the only uh, competitive advantage so the organization who was able to produce at the lowest cost was the most successful one so the com- competitive advantage was like that uh, so you could see that um, um why all the organizations multinationals they established their uh they they got their products made from china because the chinese products they were cost competitive and uh, similarly uh, many multinationals they used to come to the subcontinent to india to pakistan uh, to uh, utilize the benefit of uh, of cheap labor um and uh, many organizations for example nike um adidas they used to have their uh, production facilities um in uh, countries in developing countries where uh, they could uh, produce at a lower cost uh, now the textile industry after the uh, uh, slum of textile industry in pakistan the most of the textile industry has shifted to bangladesh so many of the organizations textile organizations they uh, get their products produced in bangladesh uh, so the competitive advantage earlier it used to be how uh, cost effectively you are able to produce your um, uh, produce your uh, products and services it is still uh, an important factor it is something which cannot be disregarded but then more important factors they emerged as creating the competitive advantage for an organization so in the second uh, phase of uh, this uh, management um uh, the ability to manage and utilize such factors properly would differentiate between the competing uh, competing actors so uh, the importance of management practices how well you are able to manage the um, different factors of production how uh, effectively you are able to manage them how how effectively you are able to manage the people how effectively you are able to manage uh, the finances how effectively you are able to manage because uh, uh, earlier what happened was that uh, because multinationals they were uh, scarce to jo ek kahin kisi jagah pe pahunch jati thi wo wahi us jagah ka jo बेनिफिट है वो यूटिलाइज कर लेते थे लेकिन जैसे जैसे फिर आ, उनकी एक्सपेंशन होना शुरू हो गई तो फिर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड के द फोर्सेस ऑफ कंपटीशन दैट लेड टू अ हायर लेवल ऑफ ऑफ स्किल दैट रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रिएट दैट कंपेटिटिव एडवांटेज सो अगर हर मल्टानेशनल ने जो है वो अपनी सब्सिडरी अपना प्रोडक्शन प्लांट जो है वो किसी चीप लेबर वाले एरिया में लगा लिया तो अब इसके बाद नेक्स्ट क्या होगा 
क्या चीज़ उनको डिफ्रेंशिएट करेगी तो जो नेक्स्ट स्टेप था जिसमें डिफ्रेंशिएशन क्रिएट हुई वो ये कि आप कितनी बेहतर तरीके से मैनेज कर सकते हैं तो जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अपने इन चीप रिसोर्स को इकट्ठा करके बहुत अच्छे तरीके से मैनेज कर सकती है वो दूसरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो कि उतने अच्छे तरीके से मैनेज नहीं कर रही उससे स्टैंड आउट करेगी एंड देन द थर्ड लेवल एट विच एट द स्टेट एट विच वी आर स्टैंडिंग इन टू डेज टाइम इज दैट द प्रोसेस ऑफ देन नॉट जस्ट मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द गिवन रिसोर्स बट टू जनरेट मोर रिसोर्स आउट ऑफ द रिसोर्स दैट यू ऑलरेडी हैव that became that became a distinguishing factor because then there were so many organization and all of them then they were managing well the given resources so now you've got to do something more to actually stand out so what you can do that is that you are you you use your given resources to create more resources and how do you create more resources you create more resources through experimentation you create more resources through innovation you create more resources through research so and all these things they are processes of knowledge generation and knowledge management so knowledge and information factor as crystallized in the skills to produce and use electronic technology and to process information so very important aspect is that you are able to use the technology which is at your hand and uh, you are able to create a competitive advantage by developing skills that are able to utilize and exploit these opportunities of technology and information uh, information ka jo aapke paas ek deluge hai ab aapke paas information ka salab hai उसको आप किस तरह से मैनेज करते हैं और उसको आप किस तरह से यूज़ करते हैं अपने फर्दर लर्निंग के ऊपर फर्दर एनहेंसमेंट के लिए दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज नाउ द सोर्स ऑफ कंपेटिटिव एडवांटेज फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस एंड पर्टिकुलरली मल्टीनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो रिसर्च सजेस्ट रिसर्च टेल्स अस दैट कंपनीज विद एक्सेस टू दीज न्यू फैक्टर्स विच इज़ the ability to use uh, electronic technology the ability to use skills the ability to uh, uh, to manage information uh, they are they have a competitive advantage and they are more likely to succeed so what do they do when they what what, what is essential for this uh, knowledge development process what are the dimensions of that successful companies are those that consistently karna kya hai aapne what do you do in this knowledge management and creation process is that number one you create new knowledge through innovation through r&d through research and then aap usko rakh ke nahi apne paas baithe rehte usko aap kisi kamre mein nahi band kar dete aap usko kisi dabbe mein dal ke mehfooz nahi kar dete kisi kitab mein nahi likh dete aap usko disseminate karte hain aap usko apne नॉलेज वर्कर्स के साथ शेयर करते हैं और आप उनको वो आइडियाज जो हैं वो प्रोवाइड करते हैं और उससे जो है वो नए आइडियाज जनरेट होते हैं एंड देन एम्बॉडी इट इन न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी एंड प्रोडक्ट सो वंस अगेन नॉलेज आप क्रिएट करके किसी बॉक्स में नहीं बंद करते आप उस नॉलेज को यूज़ करते हैं टू क्रिएट न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड न्यू प्रोडक्ट्स विच एम्बॉडीज जिसके अंदर वो नॉलेज जो आपने क्रिएट किया है वो उसके अंदर महफूज है उसके अंदर नजर आता है एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दैट यू आर एबल टू ट्रांसफर नॉलेज टू यूटिलाइज अक्रॉस द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो यू जस्ट डोंट डिसमिनेट यू ट्रांसफर यू ट्रांसफर इट फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू द अदर एंड ट्रांसफर मीन्स दैट वैन इट गोज टू द अदर प्लेस इट्स नॉट जस्ट दे हेयर इट एंड देन दे फो गेट अबाउट इट दे गेट इट इट इज समथिंग विच इज ट्रांसफर्ड which is which is then entrenched in as as part of the organization and they use it to uh, utilize it to create more knowledge uh and so uh, knowledge transfer happens through learning uh because when you acquire some new um, knowledge what does it lead to it leads to learning it leads to and what is learning learning is a permanent change in behavior or attitude 
of persons and organizations so when we talk about organization it means that when organizations they get knowledge uh, and the transfer of knowledge has been successful the organization will learn learning means it will start doing things in another way it has to be change in behavior of the organization so behavior of the organization kis tarah se nazar aayega they start managing things in another way they start communicating in another way they restructure their organization to make it more flexible to make it more effective to make it more uh, productive uh, so that these are all the aspects of organization so when you acquire new knowledge we are talking about organizational level learning not individual level learning so when you talk about organizational learning it's the organization as a whole how does it look what does it do and how does it uh, convert knowledge into uh, new learning behaviors and that is something which is directly related to the knowledge skills and abilities of employees which is uh, called human capital human capital is something which was the term emerged from calculating the economic value of investment on education so jo human capital ka jo concept tha wo uh investment okay uh, it was emerged from looking at how much is the return on investment when you invest on education uh so isme return kitna hai so usli is is uh, discussion se jo concept hai human capital ka ke when you add value to your uh, product or when you add value to your processes by learning new knowledge skills and abilities it is something which makes it more valuable so as the financial capital makes things more valuable similarly human capital makes your products and services more valuable and then later on uh, in research the non economic value of uh, knowledge or human capital that also emerged that the ability to manage in an effective way the ability to lead people in an effective way the ability to connect people with an ineffective way which are the soft skills those are the non economic factors or non economic value of the human capital which is also very much important and which is also very much uh, uh, significant in making the success uh, in making an organization successful so what is important uh, for knowledge management and transfer uh, uh, knowledge is important um by creating organizational learning it creates human capital human capital has got an economic value which is directly added into the products and services it also has a non economic value which uh, which manifests in the way the people and processes of the organization are managed uh, so a very uh, interesting excerpt from an article by stellan De- dean uh, says that some of the value is added directly by t- transforming the firm's product but much of it is less tangible consisting of solving problems coordinating the work of departments and exercising judgment in novel situations so all these things being able to um uh, solve problems being able to coordinate your work and being able to wisely exercise your judgment in different and unique situation all of this is a part of organizational knowledge uh, it is a part of human capital and therefore it is something which creates value and is and carries a lot of significance for the organization